Okay, so this is the crinoline we'll be working with for our crinoline ball dress. And this is the net. Why this is the doll face satin. We are using three years of the doll face satin. The crinoline I bought a full pack. I'll be telling you what will be remaining after the making of the ball dress. We'll be making a crinoline ball dress for a one to two year old child. Now this is our shoulder line. This is our shoulder line. Now the size we are working with are the shoulder is 9.5, the chest is 283, then the waist is 2.25. The length of the ball gown is 22, while the bodies, that is the half length of the gown is 8.5. So we'll start by marking the half length of the gown. Since we have 8.5 here, we are not going to be marking exact 8.5. We are going to add one inch to join the shoulder and the other half inch. One inch, that is half inch to join the shoulder and the other half inch to join the bodies to the um, down part of the... Alright, so we have 9.5 here. 9.5 here. So we are going to draw a straight line connecting the two marks. So this is the half length of our gown. So we are going to be marking out the shoulder. The shoulder here is 9.5 divided by two in order for you not to disturb yourself just fold your tape through this way that is the 9.5 you fold it into two so you have the 4.75 4.75 back it this way back it this way We are going to take half inch for slant, then our shoulder and our ham hole are the same. Your shoulder divided by two is the same thing as your ham hole. So from this half inch, I'm going to mark 4.5 down. It's either you use your 4.5 or you use for your 4.75. But I'll choose to use 4.5 so that the so that the ham hole will not be too loose for the child. So I'll mark it down. Remember, this is our half inch for slant, and this is 4.5 for the arm pull. So the neck of the child for a one to two year old is two inch. Two inches, I'm sorry. That is the neck width, and the neck depth also is two inches. So you use your curve ruler. Now you slant it. Okay, so we'll mark the middle of the ample, the middle of 4.5, which is this. Then you come in by half inch. So the so the chest of the child is 23. 23 divided by 2 is 11.5. 11 11.5 divided by 2. In order for you to stress yourself, just bend your tip through this way, so you have it. You add your one inch for ease. You come to the waist, 22 divided by 5. You bend it this way. You also bend it this way. And you have it here. You add your one inch for ease also. This is practically all for the front bodies. starting line also and don't forget the bodies we use for the front is 9.5 so we we'll also mark our 9.5 here our 9.5 here our 9.5 here and don't forget because we are making that of the back you are going to add your zipper allowance before you start anything now we are going to be using the zipper allowance of one inch so this is the zipper allowance of one inch 
this is your one in zipper allowance so now we'll mark the our shoulder line which is 9.5 divided by 2 9.5 divided by 2 and our shoulder slant is half inch and the armhole we use for the front bodies is 4.5 so we also confirm our shoulder allowance here and mark up our straight line don't forget the neck width is 2 inch now for the back we are going to be making use of the neck depth of 5 inch So you slant the shoulder line. So the half, so the chest line of the gown is 23. 23 divided by 2 is 11 and a half. 11 and a half divided by 2 again is 5 3 quarter. That is 5.75. So that line is not straight. So this is our five point seven five. So we add one inch allowance for ease. Okay. So the waist is two divided by four. Twenty two point five divided by four. This is it. Then one inch for sewing allowance. Then you draw your straight line. You don't have to come in with half inch on your handle because this is the back of this. So you just curve it. So for the neck, you slant it this way. So that is all about the back bodies. I'm about to cut out the yoke for the front bodies. So from the neckline, I'll be going down by two inches, or two and a half inches from the neckline. Why from the armhole part, I'll be going down by two and a half inches. Then I'll make use of my French curve, of my armhole curve, to bring out the yoke. This is what I have. So I'll cut this out now. So this is it. So we are about to start the technical part of this ball dress. We are want to transfer the yoke to the net. So this is the net I will be using. Make sure the net is wide enough. After folding it into two like this, you can see what I'm doing. After folding it into two, you fold it this way again. We are going to be having two pieces of it so that we can turn with the other piece. So this is it. So now you are going to be making use of your pins to have your accurate measurement. So you make sure you fold the satin very well equally. You place it on this edge like this and pin it down. So you pin it down this way. Make sure it is accurate. Then you Put your pin on the other side also and pin it down so as to have your accurate measurements and it will not make the net shift good so we are about to start so on this pointed edge here make sure when you are cutting the net you don't make yours pointed so i'll be cutting half inch this is what i'll do half inch round half marking half inch round half inch half inch so when i get to this place i will still add like quarter inch add like quarter inch so that you don't run short of fabrics you add your quarter inch at the top part also you add your quarter inch 
So when you get to this place, make sure this place is not pointed. It should be in a box shape like this. So that you'll be able to sew it accurately. So now you've cut out. You can see what I'm doing. When you get to this place, you go straight. This is what you are meant to achieve. It should not be pointed. You cut out the accurate neck line. So at the end, this is what we are meant to achieve. You can see we have two pieces. So this is what we have. So you sew it this way. You sew it this way, then you turn it out. We are going to be seeing more of that in the next. Now, this is the next. For you to have a perfect, a perfect cutting of the net, you have to fold it the way I did mine. You fold it and you iron it very well. So we'll be cutting it, then after the net, we'll cut the setting, then we start sewing. So since the bodies of the half of the of the of the gown is 8.5. And the length of the gun is 22. So we'll be subtracting 8.5 from 22. So what we have, I think, is 13.5. So since we are using this crinoline, we'll be adding four more inches. So it will be 17.5. Then one more inch for the joining. Then it will give us 18.5. So this will be for the first layer. We'll be cutting out 18.5 for the first layer. This is the starting point. Then for the first layer, we'll cut at 18.5. Because it's a three-tier ball gown, we'll cut at 18.5 for the first layer. Then for the second layer, because it is a three-tier crinoline ball gown, we are going to be minusing three inches from 18.5. That will be 15.5. So this is 15.5 for this second layer. Why for the third from the for the third layer we also minus three inch from the fifteen point five, which will give us twelve point five. So this is the twelve point five. So we'll call them out. This is for the 12 layers. This, this, this is for the third layer. This is the second layer. Why this is the first layer? So this is how it's going to be. This will be at the bottom. Then this will be on top. This is to give you the three layers of the coloring board. Okay, so we are about to cut the doll face satin. So this is a two yards of doll face. So by the savage edge here, you fold it into a smaller size like this. So this is it. You fold it into smaller size. You can fold it into four or into eight. But for my table, I'll be folding it into four. So the first thing I'll do now, I'll cut out the savage edge because we don't want this to show in our ball gown. You trim it off. So since our, the length of our ball dress is 22 and for the bodies we are making use of 8. So let's just assume this is 8, eight and a half for our bodies. So let's assume this is the 8 we'll be using for our bodies. Now this is the 22. Now for a perfect satin size and a length you are going to minus two inch so that this ball so that this satin net will not come out from your net so since this is 22 i'm going to be cutting out my satin at 20 this is eight and this is 20 with minus two inches so we are going to cut this out
So this is the first lining. We'll be needing the second lining. We are going to be making use of two lining. So this is this. We stop this at 20 inches. The other one is going to be on 18 inches. This one will be shorter than the other one, than the first one we made cut out. So this will be on 18 inches. So this is the first lining and this is the second lining. So we'll be cutting out our belts. So we are about to cut the belt of the border. So the length of the belt, the length of the belt is going to be 26. So luckily we have 26 here. And the wideness of the belt is going to be 4 inches. Then when we fold it, it's going to be 2 inches. After sewing, it's going to be 1 and some inches. So we are going to be marking 4 inches all around. 4 inches. This is for the belt. Don't forget, we have it on fold. So this is for the two girls. So we are going to cut out the four inches. Since it is on fold, we'll divide it into two. So we have the width of 4 inches and the length of 26 inches for the belt. So these are the belts. 